Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by a battery. You should then be able to calculate the potential difference produced by a battery. Now over the last few videos we've been looking at current and potential difference in both series and parallel circuits. All of the circuits we've seen so far have contained a cell. And here's the symbol for a cell. Now in physics we often use the word battery, so let's take a look at what that means. A battery is simply two or more cells connected together, and I'm showing you the symbol for a battery here. Now there is one key point about batteries. The cells in a battery must be connected in the same direction. So as you can see in this battery, the positive ends of the two cells are both pointing to the left. So in this video, we're looking at how to calculate the potential difference produced by batteries. Here's a single cell with a potential difference of 9 volts. So what would happen if we connected two of these cells in series, like this, to form a battery? Well, if we measure the potential difference using a voltmeter, we can see that it's 2 times 9 volts, in other words, 18 volts. So the potential difference of cells adds up to give us the total potential difference of the battery. Here's one for you to try. Each cell has a potential difference of 9 volts. Determine the overall potential difference of the battery. Pause the video and try this yourself. Okay, so in this battery we've got three cells and each one has a potential difference of 9 volts. Multiplying 9 by 3 means that we've got a total potential difference of 27 volts. Here's another one for you. Again, each cell has a potential difference of 9 volts. I'd like you to determine the overall potential difference of this battery, so pause the video and try this yourself. Okay, putting a voltmeter across this battery tells us that we've actually got a potential difference of 0 volts. We can explain that by looking at the direction of the cells. The left-hand cell is pointing in the correct direction with the positive end on the left. However, the right-hand cell is pointing in the wrong direction. This means that the potential differences of these cells cancel out, so the battery has an overall potential difference of zero. OK, here's a final question for you. Again, each cell has a potential difference of 9 volts. I'd like you to determine the overall potential difference of this battery. Pause the video and try this yourself. OK, so in this battery we've got three cells. Two of them are pointing in the correct direction, and here they are. The potential difference from these two cells will be 2 times 9 volts, which is 18 volts. However, we can also see that this cell is pointing in the wrong direction. This will cancel out one of the other cells. So the overall potential difference of this battery is 9 volts in total. Remember, you'll find plenty more questions on determining the potential difference of batteries in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by a battery. You should then be able to calculate the potential difference produced by a battery.